Hello everyone. All right, I have a new product that you guys have been asking about and I finally got it today. So let's get into it. So these are the new Arteza um, metallic watercolors. There are, it says 24 half pan, half pan, and it comes with a water brush pen. Let's open them up. And I will have a discount code, whoops, in the description for you as well as the link if you want to pick these up. Now, the watercolor brush pen, I don't have one of these, but this is a fairly large one, which is nice. Okay, I have some water here. Let's actually just do this way. We'll give that a second to move that water down. And let's open these up. I don't have any kind of watercolors like this. So this is my first time trying half pans. Um, it says half pans, metal box, reusable paint when dried on palette. Okay, non-toxic. And it looks like white, silver, black, lemon, yellow, gold, Aztec gold, bronze, glowing peach, copper, cherry blossom pink, watermelon pink, iridescent pink, ballerina pink, orchid purple, lilac, plum purple, iridescent green, lettuce green, lime green, jungle green, cactus green, frosty blue, sky blue, and powder blue. All right. So metal pan, this is to put under your finger. I have one under on my phone like that. Um, but this way, if you are outside and you want to hold the pan or you're holding it up to a palette, um, you can do that. And then this is your mixing tray. And then this opens up to protect. Oh, and we can swatch them out. Okay, that's even cooler. So this has the names of them. And you can swatch them out on white and black paper that is cool and it looks like each of these little pans are stuck in there let's see if i can get one out they are individually wrapped okay here we go and they're tiny little pans with their names please turn over okay And then what I will probably do, this might be kind of wasteful of me, but since this is a sticker, I'm going to put my sticker on the bottom of the pan. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I'm going to do. All right, so... I won't do every single one of the, well, I do gotta open them up, don't I? Let's do this rather quickly then. And they are in order on how they're on here. And so they do, they're a little hard to grasp. There's no little like lip or anything. They just kind of sit there and then they just snap right in. So that's kind of neat. So I guess you just go through one at a time and pop them out. hope everybody is doing well. It's a little chilly here today. The sun is out, but you can hear the wind whipping around. And I usually have this little um, canopy thing on the back of my deck, like on the, um, yeah, on the deck. And um, I didn't put it up yet this year because I was going to try to get my deck fixed. So there was no point in me, you know, decking the deck out. But I'm glad I did not now because of all the wind whipping around and it's, it's a little chilly. Still have the heat on in the house. My son says that the other day. He goes, Mom, 
is your electric bill going to be really high? And I go, why? And he goes, because we're all home every day. And I was like, well, it'll probably be a little higher than normal, but I'm on a budget plan where it's the same every single month. And he's like, oh, okay. He goes, so I've been leaving my fan on in my room every day. <laughs> so I guess it's nice that he thought about that. You know, I am always surprised at how fast I get Arteza products. Um, and I always think, and, and this is this is terrible, but I always think, oh, for the price, you know, like my expectations are low. And then when I get them and I try them out, I'm like, this is good stuff. So uh, the quality that you get for the budget, for what you're paying, can't beat it. You really can't. And I say that in every single one of my videos. And every time, you know, I get the opportunity to try out their products, I'm like so surprised that like I said, the brightness of the colors on all the markers, the paints. Um, you know, if, if there was anything I wish they would come out with, and maybe they will, Arteza, if you're watching, we need some alcohol inks. I think then they'll have the market cornered, right? But every year they're growing, and every year they're adding new products. Um, and great for someone like me who is, you know, I'm just a part-time card maker, crafter, occasionally doing stuff around the house, paintings, things like that. But I'm not a huge, like, I'm not a, a professional artist by any means. And I love these, these sizes and prices and, and color choices that I get for what I need. It's great. And I don't feel guilty with sharing with the kids. You know, sometimes we buy and we spend a lot of money on really good art supplies and products and we kind of tell the kids, uh, yeah, and I know I do it. I say to Leah, you can't touch those. Like, she can't touch mommy's expensive paints and markers and stuff. Not that I have anything expensive. But, you know, whenever I whip these out, she's like, can I do some? I'm like, yeah, go right ahead. Like, I don't have any guilt about sharing with her or any friends that come over. For those of you guys that... We'll get back to doing crops and card making. I know I'm definitely going to get back into doing that. I miss my friends terribly. Um, it's, it's, there's no guilt in using this up and because of the price point, being able to just go online and buy another one. And the shipping is free. It's fast. You can't beat it. You really can't. Okay, I'm really trying to, to go through here. Let's swatch some of these out and see how they do. Turn the heater off here. And I'm going to start on the white paper. And I just want to pull these out again and make sure I have them in the right order. I'm just going to pull the ones I put in. I'm going to pull back out just to make sure. Lots of greens and blues, purples, pinks. I like that because I do a lot of like um, nature scenes with my cards, but I like doing like sunsets, water, things like that. So these are great for that. I am going to take a little bit of this water out of this brush pen here. There we go. Put a drop or two in each one. Okay, do a paper towel here. Okay, powder blue, sky blue, frosty blue, cactus green, jungle green, lime green lettuce green and iridescent green okay so have them all in the right order here before i start to swatch them out Ooh, that is really pearlescent 
really pearlescent. Probably have way too much on my paintbrush there. Oh my gosh, the shimmer in here is so pretty. You know, I got those mica powders not too long ago, and I was like, oh, I can make the mica powders into watercolors. Well, now I don't even have to. You know what? I'll do all the. Let me do both. Wow, that really shows up. And I have a lot of water in this one just because I put too much water in the pan. And I know it's hard for you guys to see. Oops, wrong color. Go back here because of the camera, but there's a lot of sparkle in here. I know for those of you that do brush lettering, these would be gorgeous. And I gotta tell you, I do have an expensive set. I'll show you here in a second. One of those, if I had known things, wouldn't have had to spend my money. I will say the colors are very vibrant on the white. They do get a little bit muted when you go to the black, but all of that shimmer definitely shows up. We'll see how they do when they dry. Ooh, that jungle green is dark. That is a jungle green for sure. Now see on the black, it doesn't look that dark. It's interesting. Lime green is definitely lime. They always do these neat neon colors in their paints and their uh, markers and stuff. It's pretty cool. Lettuce green is a nice light green. Paintbrush is working well, not leaking. Nice long barrel, that makes me happy. All right, this is the one I really wanted to see. This is iridescent green, so you really don't see anything on the white. It just looks like white paint. I mean, there's a slight, slight tint to it. That's where it pops, right there on the black. Look at that. So, as you can see as they're drying, the mica definitely shows through. There's a lot of shimmer in there. Some of them have more pigment concentration than others, so it's good to swatch them out so you can see what they're going to look like. But the colors are very bright on the white. Shall we keep going? Sure. I'm just going to slide these over here for now and let that paint dry in there. We'll pull these four out. Now you only have to pull them out and put them back in when you first get them. And then once you've swatched them, and um, you can put them back in and leave them in the pans. That's nice too because I would imagine if later on they come out with refills, um, you can just buy the colors that you want. was a lot easier to do without having scissors in my hands. Now there's um, 
big thing I see on stamp companies right now is a lot of stamp, stamp companies are going to bigger images. This is going to be great for coloring in those bigger images. Or if you do, um, I do a lot with foiling. So I just put that on the wrong one. thing I caught myself. I'm sure you guys would have mentioned it in the video because you guys always catch my mistakes. <laughs> so I love you guys. Um, but a lot of us now have been, you know, since we're stuck at home, making use of our computers and we a lot of us have memberships to Silhouette and Cricut Design, things like that. A lot of us have been printing and foiling our images, right? So how much better would this look if you take those foiled images I'm just going to do one drop this time because two drops was too much. Come on. Okay, let's swatch these out. Do not stick your hand in the ones you just did, Nance. Oh, that's like my favorite color right there. Plum purple, that is pretty. See, it just shows up as iridescent on the, um, on the black. Definitely better on white. Get a darker concentration of that. Very, very pretty. That would, that would look great on some floral images. Okay, lilac. Ooh. You know, when the um, Tim Holtz alcohol inks first came out, the ones that have the, the micas in them, uh, the Tim Holt, are they called the pearls? I forget what they're called. But anyway, you know, we're all mesmerized by seeing all that mica and all that pretty pearl. Well, it's kind of the same thing here. I mean, there's a lot of shimmer going on here. And I'm pretty sure these are probably the same micas they sell in the jars. So those of you that make your own soaps or candles, makeup, lip balm, these are very, very high high pigmented mica colors. I mean, there's a lot of color and a lot of sparkle. And we all love sparkle. Oh, ballerina pink does not disappoint. That is your little girl's pink right there. Pretty. All right. So let me just show you while those are drying. I just looked over. So here's a floral image that I had foiled. not being neat here. I'm just throwing that color down and it is sparkle galore. Not only do we have the foiling, but we have that light pink on there. Let me go with a darker pink, make it a little easier for you guys to see. And just like the other Arteza paints, the more water you add, the looser it gets, the lighter the color gets. If you want a more concentrated color, you just add a little less water and then it becomes a little thicker. I usually like my paints that way because I feel like there's more control for me. But again, if you want that watercolored look, you just add a little more water, dilute that color down a little bit, and then you get that painterly watercolor look to it. This is pretty. And I spent a lot of money on those Spectrum Noir shimmer pens. These are way nicer. And 
again, way less expensive. That's pretty. All right, so we can put these back in now. And we just snap right in. Like I said, I think the hardest part is just getting them out to swatch, to take the uh, labels off and swatch them, but then once you have them out and you got everything labeled, you can hear them snap right back in. very easy to do so far I am very impressed let me show you put these back in the tray here just want to do a quick swatch comparison These are more expensive brand that I purchased, and I don't know. I think because I spent so much money on them, I really don't like to use them. I kind of hoard them. I use them once in a while at Christmas time. Okay, I need to open the golds for those. Um, just to do some like coloring. But here is a fine tech one. This is the pearlescent colors, and I can tell you, I spent way more money on this one, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 colors. There they are swatched out. Let me open up the rest of these, but I think we're going to find that the Arteza ones are just as comparable to these more expensive ones. Going to be easier to get, going to be faster to get, and going to be cheaper to get. So let me open up into these um, goals so we can compare. and We'll swatch them out side by side. And if you don't want to sit down and watch me do all the swatching, you can press tap the right side of the screen two times. It'll fast forward the video 10 seconds for you. And if you want to go back, you just um, tap the left side of the screen and it will go uh, rewind 10 seconds for you. There's a black in here. They're really tight. What well, I guess is a good thing. You don't have to worry about them getting loose and falling out. Come on, last three. Let's go. There we go. So we have diamond white, silver, Mars black, lemon yellow, gold, Aztec gold, bronze, uh, glowing peach, copper, Cherry Blossom Pink. Oh, we're missing Cherry Blossoms this year. Watermelon Pink and Iridescent Pink. Okay, so let me just label these quick, and we will do a quick comparison to that other more expensive brand.
And for you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. I have a new Facebook group we just started called Foiling and Stamping Fun. If you can check that out on Facebook. We accept everyone. Um, doesn't matter if you are a novice or if you have been doing scrapbooking, stamping, art for 25 years. We want everyone to have a good time. It's a no judgment zone. We do a lot with um, foiling. <laughs> um, obviously, foiling is a huge thing. I do hot foiling. I do toner foiling. Uh, but card, primarily card making. And we try to focus on a budget. We understand that... Not everybody has room in their home or the budget to be able to do this hobby. This is a fun hobby for a lot of us. Um, I am a full-time um, employee plus a single mom of two kids. So, you know, I have to do this when usually at night when the kids are in bed. But I enjoy having this time to myself to be creative and send a little card to someone to help maybe brighten their day a little bit, but also talking to my subscribers online and any suggestions you guys have. In fact, this kit was um, requested by my subscribers, by you guys saying, hey, did you try out those new watercolors yet? So I do have an affiliation with Arteza. I reached out to them. They sent them out to me. And um, it's, like I said, so far I have not been disappointed with their products and I have watercolor paints, acrylic paints, paint boring paints, the color pencils, the watercolor pencils, the brush markers. So a lot of good things from this, this company. And like I said, I think they're fairly new to the marker, fairly new to me in the last couple years. And I think they do a lot of videos with a lot of professional artists that use their products. So I think that says a lot not only students who are just learning and can appreciate the price point, but professional artists that, that believe that their quality is as good as professional pro art products. Um, so, yeah. Something to look into if you've never tried them before. Very, very little in terms of difference compared to the name brand products that are out there, I've found or not enough of a difference for me to justify the price of going with a name brand company. Now, if you are a professional artist, you know, that may be different for you, but for us card makers, hobby, hobby crafters, works out just fine for us. Okay, last two guys. One drop of water in each one. Let's just swatch them out real quick. And then that way we can compare them to the other ones. And these are all pretty dry, the first layers that I did. So that's good. This is iridescent pink. And again, probably not going to show up on the white. Nope. But probably will pop on the black. Oh yeah, that is so cool. And iridescent is so in right now. Let me move this over so you guys can see a little better.
right. Next one is um, watermelon pink. You see that? Okay. Nope, that is not watermelon pink. It's a good thing I checked. This one is watermelon pink. This one is copper. Copper, you are out of line. Okay, watermelon pink, cherry blossom pink. Then copper, then glowing peach, okay. Watermelon pink is a nice bright pink. This reminds me of the colors of like pink roses. Cherry blossom pink, very nice, very nice. I'm not a huge pink person. Those are pretty. I mean, I like fuchsia, but that's like my only pink. Okay, this one is copper. Definitely an orangey copper for sure. Lots of mica. And glowing peach. Okay, moving on to bronze. Bronze is a color as I get older, I have more appreciation for. I don't know how to explain that. I find that it's, you know, it's not too bright like gold, like flashy, but kind of a muted. It's pretty Aztec gold. Ooh, that pops. Regular gold. Ooh, also very pretty. Lemon yellow. Very, very bright, sunshiny yellow. I need to dig out my big floral images because I think these would look great. Mars black. It's like a dark, dark gray. There's all that shimmer in there. And silver, my silver dried out. There we go, very pretty. I need to put more water in there. And last but not least is white diamond. Diamond white, which looks like white. Great in the winter time if we're doing snow pictures. And so it looks like the two iridescent colors are just gonna be the iridescent pink and the iridescent green. me put these all back in here and then we will swatch compare them to the other guys because that's what everybody wants to know right should I spend my money on the Artezas or should I spend my money on the big brand whoops look at that didn't even make a mess It'll be great to take out on the back deck, do a little coloring out there. I don't need a big thing of water. I just take my watercolor brush, um, paper towels. Could have nice breeze out on the deck and paint some images. All right, I'm going to compare the golds and silvers to what we have here. These are the Fine Tech let me move my swatches over here. 
Okay, so you do get a little more paint in the fine tech ones. And again, if, if you're using a lot of these paints, I can understand that. Being a card maker, I really don't use a lot of them. So to me, that's not going to make big make a big issue. I'm going to grab some. This is the Arteza Black Paper Sketch Pad. I've used this before. I wouldn't do like any kind of heavy duty watercoloring on here, but for us to compare the colors, let me put a little water in each one of these. And got my paper towel off to the side here with the water brush. And let me just mark these fine tech versus Arteza. And hopefully you guys can see. There we go. A little bit of a comparison. Okay, now the fine tech fine tech box has these on the back. Okay, so that one says a little bit different names, of course. I'm just going to swatch them all out, I guess. This one is called Tibet Gold, which is like the regular gold, I think. Or the lemon yellow. Come on, let me pick up some color here. This one is called Inca Gold, which is more like a golden. Um, like the Aztec gold, I would say. Arabic gold. That's really bright. I don't know if we have one compared to that. I don't know that I would use all of these colors either. <laughs> um, Ferronian gold. It's like a darker gold. Luna gold. And... Sterling silver. So obviously we're not going to have all of these colors, but we can compare. Let's see what we have with the Artezas. Get my brush off. Okay, so I think lemon yellow is a bright kind of a yellowy gold. We can try that one. Let's try that one against this guy here. A little more yellow in the, uh, in the Arteza, but still very pretty. And then Aztec gold is kind of like an orange gold. Yeah, I'm going to say that one probably compares to that. Not bad. Silver would be silver. Oh, I need a little more water in that guy. Drip. Now I have too much water. There we go. All right, let's see. Regular gold. I'm going to say that compares to this one here. I don't think we have one this color. It's really light. It's not like the bronze. It's really light. So we have gold, Aztec gold, bronze, copper. I don't know that any of those would really match, but you know, you're getting four very similar colors to the Artezas versus the Fine Tech. And I'm not seeing a difference here. They both have a lot of shimmer, a lot of brightness in the color. I mean, you guys tell me. I think they're pretty comparable. Let's try the pearlescent ones. Just trying to look on my swatch to see if there's anything else on here that would kind of match. No, I think that's about right for that. All right, now for the pearlescent colors, I think these have a few iridescents in them. Let's check it out. Let me spray these. Come on. Spray bottle doesn't want to work today. Come 
Come on, let's go. I need to put more water in the bottle. I'm holding it at a weird angle. Okay, let's see what we have for these. I'm gonna just flip this just because there's more colors. Let me grab the box again. enough for you guys to see everything okay all right so fine tech amethyst is like a deep purple and I'll just go through and swatch these out one at a time here dark blue I don't know that we have that color with the teal this is blue silver, they're calling it. Black. Can't even see that one. And then this one's like iridescent. They call it mystic color. Oh, come on. Yeah, this one's like an iridescent kind of green blue. So let's see what we have to compare. We'll do actually the next line under. We'll do Arteza here for that first line. Just thought there was more colors for some reason. Okay, so yeah, there's really not. Well, there's orchid purple, but there's not like a purple purple. I would say. Lilac is going to be the closest we get to purple. That's going to be much lighter. You're getting way more mica in that than color. Okay, so for blues, I guess sky blue. Green is like jungle green or cactus green. Those are very, very similar, I think. Yep, pretty similar. Just cleaning my brush off in between. Okay, the next one is called blue silver. So I guess that would be like powder blue. Pretty close. And then we do have black. And then the last one is an iridescent kind of green. Um, I don't know that it matches with either of the iridescents in the Arteza. Arteza has the iridescent pink and iridescent green. Well, we can try that one, which is this one here. Oops, more water. Which this one's much brighter. That one's a little bit darker. All right. Let's try these last couple colors here. These are the fine text. That one is called Pearl. This is a gold. So similar to the other gold I already have. 
This one's called Crystal Gold. Again, similar to the gold I already have. Okay. I had to water my brush. Easy peasy. Copper, red, and purple. So, copper, very orangey. Red is very red. And purple. That is not really a purple. That's kind of a reddish purple. I think they misnamed that one. Okay. So, pearl. That's They're calling it pearl silver. Um, I don't know what you could compare that to in terms of the Artezas. They really don't. Oh, the white. Do we have a white? Yeah, we have white diamond. I put my, my uh, palettes on backwards. We do have a white. We have a white diamond. Come on, water. Oops, too much water. Do have a white. Okay. Pearl gold. This is going to be like the regular gold. So, lemon yellow. Okay, this one's gold. Yep. And then I'm going to say this one is the lemon yellow. Orange would be the copper. Or Aztec gold. I'm going to say Aztec gold is closer to the copper fine tech. Kind of uh, not as orangey, but copper, let me show you the difference there. Copper is a little more reddish. This one was the copper. Yes. Too much water. It's okay. See, I think copper, yeah. Copper compares a little closer to what they're calling red in the fine tech. And then the last one, they are calling purple. I don't think it's a purple. I think it's a dark pink. In fact, I'm going to go with the iridescent pink. Yeah. Yeah, so the colors aren't exact, but very similar. And I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see. I'm going to tell you in terms of mica quality or pearlescent shimmer. If I did not have these labeled, no difference. No difference, you guys. Wow. I'm really surprised because I have these two expensive palettes that I really hoard and don't use because... I just felt like they were, you know, just my nice stuff. And here you can see how similar the colors are with the Arteza. And you get 24 with the Arteza. So I'm getting way more colors with the Arteza. Very, very pretty. Obviously, they, they sparkle a lot better on black. But, um, you know, you're not losing any of that. So you can see some of that color there. With the white now some of them like these down here these blues and purples you're just getting a lot of mica but you can see in the golds how those colors stand out down here in the greens the colors stand out the colored if you're using it on white paper definitely shows the difference other than the two iridescents which is that one and that one if we were to color a regular image 
Okay. Piece of the Arteza watercolor pad here, which is really good watercolor paper. So quickly stamp an image. It has a textured side and a smooth side. This is just a stamp from Blue Night Rubber Stamps, which is a really nice image on it. Real quick, gonna stamp this out. Now, of course, you would take your time and use your Misty and stamp it out nice and neat. I'm just doing quick quick comparison here for you guys. Although it's not so quick now. We're going to be an hour into this. This ink is nice because not only is it good for watercoloring, it's good for color pencils, it's good for alcohol marker coloring, Copic markers, things like that. Hopefully you got a good impression here. Okay, pretty good. And I'm gonna leave my little swatch out so I can take a look at the colors because they do look a little different than in the pans. And let's see what we can do here. Oh, that's right. I put them away in the pans the wrong way. I have to fix that. <laughs> Whoa, ink, stay there. Okay. Do have a little bucket of water over here too, just in case I want to dip into that. Okay, let's start with our sky. I'm going to wet this down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go with a really light, light pink. Let's go with this ballerina pink. And I'm just going to drop that in. Oh, yeah, that's super light. It's very pretty. You know, we've been seeing a lot of those kind of, I call the kids, I tell the kids, the cotton candy skies, right? That's the perfect color for that. Now I'm going to go on with some light blue, sky blue. Some of that in. And if you want to dilute it and move it around, just press on the pen and the water will come out and dilute that color. Okay, I like that. And then all you got to do, if you wanted to pick it up some, just kind of blot that and it'll take some of that color up. And it really looks like a sky image now. Now a little more pink. This is the orchid pink, a little darker. go pretty okay so let's say we have this kind of mountainous background go in with the bronze Say this is a kind of a coastal grassy 
This is the lettuce green. Okay. Now we want our water to be nice and flowy, so we're going to, again, put a lot of water down on the paper here. And let's go in with some powder blue. Look how easy that spreads. Oh, that's so pretty. A little more water there. Spread that around. Let's get over here. Now, of course, these stamps make it really easy to color in, but these colors have a lot of um, mica in them, so they're really shimmery and pretty. Really a lot of, um, there is a lot of pigment too, so you're not losing, the, the mica is not overpowering the color, so you're not losing the color for sake of pigment. And I have seen some products like that where there's just so much mica that all you get is all this shimmer and you don't get any color. So we're not losing any of that. And again, if you feel like that's too dark, you go in and you lift some of it up. Pretty. Okay. Now we have our reeds and things like that. Nice dark green. Oh, jungle green would look good with that. A little more water, please. And I'm not even using the fine detail brush. I'm using the Arteza brush, which is a little bit bigger brush. I'd probably go in with a little bit finer detail. And I'm just gonna kind of go in, follow the artist here with these grasses and reeds. You kind of want to be careful though, because if your water's still wet, this is gonna bleed. So could have um, probably heat set that in between there. So I'm not gonna do too much with this because I know my water is still wet and I don't want this to bleed all over. See, there we go, it's moving already. Okay, so I'll go back and do that. And then we have our pier here, which I think should be kind of a worn weathered look. We can do a little bit of brown and maybe a little bit of gray with that. So, Again, just gonna water that down. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the bronze and just kind of stroke that in there. And you can see how easy we get that move around. Very simple, just very random spots here. Sometimes I start at the top, sometimes I start at the bottom. Pull that color. If you wanna loosen that color up, add more water. Now I want to add a little gray to this so it looks a little worn. So we have the Mars black. I'm going to use very little of the Mars black. I really want to dilute that down. Just to give a little bit of texture here. Now, whoop, too much, too much. I like how easily these colors move. Sometimes you use products and the colors, once they go down, they don't move. These are mixing, moving, very easy to use. I like easy. All right, I'm gonna take the heat tool to it real quick. just want to fix my grasses. You can see here where my 
water and my grasses kind of blended together. I'm gonna go in with a little bit brighter green. Let's go in with the lettuce green. Well, a little more water there. Probably should have at this point switched to a little bit finer point water um, color pen or even a marker. You can go in with marker and color, draw over your images or um, color pencil once it's all dried. This bright green is layering nicely on top of that other green almost gives it a shadow effect where that other green was and it, it muted itself into the water. And let's add a little more. Let's do a little bit of this lime green. So that was lettuce green, lime green, a little bit of that. to switch it up. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I wanna show you guys what's cool about it. And I'm sorry this video is so long, I didn't mean for it to be, but once I started playing, I couldn't stop. Is now. See all the shimmer in the grasses, in the water, in the sky. Now it's more muted in the sky. You guys can't see it, but there's a lot of sparkle, especially in that pink. Because I didn't pick it up with the paper towel like I did with the blue. There in the water. And a little bit on the planks. Because I water, the more you water it down, you're going to lose some of that color. You're going to lose some of that pearlescent. But isn't that pretty? That almost looks like a real watercolored image. Like, it doesn't look like I stamped it. All right. So I definitely approve of these watercolors. They're very nice. If you were considering picking up some of the more expensive brands, I don't think you need to. Um, I'll link everything down below for you. Thank you again to Arteza for sending me these and having me try them out. Um, definitely worth it to me. You get the 24 pack of colors um, with the watercolor brush, which worked out fine, didn't leak, long barrel, very large brush head, which was great in using the larger areas. Um, again, you get the swatches in there, and I will link their paper for you too. We have the um, Arteza Watercolor Pad Expert, which worked out pretty well in doing this little image here. Yeah, so definitely approved by Nancy. Two thumbs up for this product. Again, I'll have a little discount code down in the description for you. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, I do appreciate your thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep on stamping. Bye-bye.